Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and admire Margaret Qualley. No, <laughs> we're going to do a Let's Play and full live review for Deep Desktop, an app that was released on the Steam Store June 20th, 2024. It normally retails for $5.99. It's on a release sale, 10% off. And I did buy this app, this game, uh, Deep Desktop. Basically what it does, it converts anything on your screen in VR and it gives it 3D depth. So anything at all that's on your desktop monitor will be converted to 3D in your VR headset. And it uses some of the commonly used uh, AI generating methods that are you know open source. But what this app does, it just puts it all together for you so you don't have to like go through the trouble of trying to figure it all out. And it puts it in an easy way to view in VR. Now there are several other apps like that. In fact, there's a totally free one as well. But what this one does, it, it just put it all together in a package that's very easy to use. And for me, that's something that's very valuable. And it's definitely worth the uh, less than $6 that I paid for this app. I've been very impressed with Deep Desktop. Uh, I've been using the Depth Anything 2 model and that just came out today. And I'm using uh, CPU as well. So if you use this model, I definitely recommend that you put it uh, so that it uses your CPU. And the results have been good. But I also don't want to oversell this. This is not as good as native 3D. And I want to make that clear. If you're using UEVR to play games in VR, this is not going to replace UEVR, Unreal Engine VR Mod by Preydog. If you use Geo 11 3D Mod, this is not going to replace that either. And if you're using a native 3D app or application or, you know, movie, and you're able to watch that in 3D in VR already, this method is not going to supersede those. It's not going to be a better result. So beware of that. The 3D results here are not perfect. And in fact, there's lots of glitches that you'll see, but you'll see here that I'm playing Little Orpheus, which is a game that's not in 3D. It's a 2D game. Uh, it does not have VR. It's not native 3D. But I did try this out with the Geo 11 3D mod and it just never worked. Like, yeah, you can get it to work, but the 3D had too many visual glitches and it ran poorly and I just, I just couldn't get it to play in 3D good enough that it would be playable. It's pretty incredible that this program is able to let me play this in 3D. I did not think that would be possible. Keep in mind, this will basically let you play almost any game in 3D. It doesn't matter what the game engine is. It doesn't matter, you know, if it's using Direct X11 or Direct X9. It does not matter. You know, as long as it's not a totally flat game, you should get some 3D results. Now, keep in mind, obviously, depending on the game, this will either look decent enough to play or it may just not look good enough in 3D to bother playing it. But the advantage that this has over UEVR or over Geo 11 3D mod is that you can play almost any game and in fact, I've only had trouble with a couple of games. One of the games that I had trouble with was H Rot. And that's because you have to minimize the screen. So I figured that out. By itself, it doesn't work. Like if you go full screen, the view in VR will be frozen. So you actually have to minimize the window, have it uh, not be full screen. So have it be a windowed screen and then you can play it in 3D in VR. So as you can see here, this is how I'm playing HROT 
in 3D using this app. I minimized the window. I mean, I, I made it a windowed game versus being full screen. And then I'm able to play it totally in 3D. And I never thought this day would come where I could play HROT in 3D and VR. Now, is this the best 3D graphics? No, obviously the, the graphics are pixelated and obviously it's a, it's a retro game. So that's the aesthetic for the game. So, you know, you're not gonna have the best 3D results, but still the difference is noticeable between Pancake and this 3D view. So it's definitely better than the normal 2D view, but obviously it's not gonna be as good as full native 3D or native VR. Still, I think the results are pretty good. And as long as you have your expectations in check, the results for this program are jaw dropping at times. I have seen some things that are just totally mind blowing. In fact, I saw this AI generated image and it was of this chameleon in, in 3D. It was a computer AI generated image. And I saw that image with uh, this program and I was totally blown away. It looked like basically a 3D model in front of me. And that was the best 3D effect that I've been able to get from this program. So a lot of it will depend on the quality of the image that you're looking at. So obviously you want the highest resolution possible. You want high frame rates for video and for photos, obviously you want the highest resolution possible in order to get the best 3D results. And obviously you want photos that really bring out the 3D effect. This app also works with a lot of the videos that you might stream or that you have stored locally or from a disc. Again, as long as you're streaming it to your desktop or viewing it on your desktop, it'll convert it to 3D. And as you can see here, this is a YouTube video, a movie trailer for Avatar, and it looks great. You can see the, the 3D effect stretch out beyond where the image should be. That tells you how good the 3D looks. And again, it looked good, but not as good as it would in a 3D movie theater, not as good as native 3D. So you can definitely tell there is a conversion and there'll be issues. There'll be artifacts, there'll be warping, there'll be some ghosting, but it's pretty minor. But again, it just depends on your quality, the resolution, the frame rate, stuff like that's gonna affect the quality that you enjoy. Now, I've had this work on YouTube and on Netflix and on anything else that I've tried, but it did not work with Amazon Prime. So with Amazon Prime, it would just be a black screen and it would not work at all. So beware of that. I don't know if this will work on Hulu or other streaming services. It may not work on some Blu-ray disc and there might be some other streaming platforms that it doesn't work, but I'm surprised in the number of things it has worked on and the results have been very good overall. So I do recommend this app and if you rate it, I would give it a very solid 8 out of 10 for the budget price.